Okay, so the last section of this unit is what we call linear sequences, and there's a number of things that we need to do with these. Linear sequences are num uh, sequences which go off by the same jump each time, and they're very related to times tables. So this is really typical question on a GCSE paper. Um, so you've got, for example, people sitting around tables. Um, if there's only one table, you've got four people sitting around it. If there's two tables, you've got six people sitting around it. And if there's three tables, you can have eight people sitting around it. So we can start just writing out the numbers like that. So here I've got four, six, and eight. Okay, so what I should be able to see is that each additional table that I put in lets me go up by two. So it's related to the two times table. So I can write two times table and there's my two times table, two, four, six. Well this is the two times table, this is my sequence. What's the relationship between the two? Well, my sequence is, in every case, it is two more. It's two higher. So this I can think of as the two more than two times table. Once I start thinking of it like that, finding the tenth and the hundredth term is easy. Because the tenth term in the two times table is two times ten, twenty, plus two, tells me that the tenth pattern would give me twenty-two people. The hundredth pattern, two times a hundred, plus two, would give me two hundred and two people. And what I really don't want to see in an exam paper is people trying to write this out to look at writing a hundred tables in there. It's a waste of time. You've got more important things to be doing on the table uh, on your exam paper. So just make sure that you understand the relationship between any sequence you've been given and the relevant times table. Okay, I'm going to pause the video there. Um, uh, once you're ready with the work example, um, unpause and we'll have a look at a couple of questions for you to do on your own. Okay, so here's um, a few patterns for you to explore. For each of them, I want you to find the tenth term and the hundredth term. So here you've got one dot followed by five dot, and then you get an additional four dot, one at the end of each branch going on here. So you're going to need to work out how many you'd have on the tenth pattern, how many you'd have on the hundredth pattern. Here you've got some sticks arranged in a particular sequence. On questions three and four, you've just got numbers. For question four, it goes into decimals. Okay, so Make sure you write down the times table that you think it's related to and see what the relationship is with the times table before you try and find the tenth and hundredth term. Pause the video while you have a go at it yourself. And when you're ready to look at the solutions, press pause again and we'll go through the answers. Okay, so once we've looked at what numbers we've got, we need to make sure we know what the jumps are in our sequence. So here, I'm going up by four each time. So I know it must be related to the four times table which is 4, 8, 12. So if I look at the relationship with the 4 times table, each of these numbers is 3 less than the 4 times table. So it's 3 less than 4 times table. 4 times 10 is 40. Take away 3 is 37. 4 times 100 is 400. Take away 3 is 397. Hopefully you got both of those right. Looking at the next one, I'm going up by three each time, so it must be related to the three times table. There's my three times table, three, six, nine. It's one more than three times table. So the tenth is going to be the three times ten, which is thirty, plus one is thirty-one. The hundredth is going to be three times a hundred, which is three hundred, plus one, which is three hundred and one. Next one goes up by four each time. It's four times table. Four, eight, twelve. Looking what that gap is, it's seven higher. So it's seven more than four times table. Okay, so 
4 times 10 is 40, plus 7 is 47. 4 times 100 is 400, plus 7 is 407. Last one's a bit more difficult because it goes up by decimals. So here I've got plus 4.5 and plus 4.5. So it must be the 4.5 times table. It's 4.5 times table. It's 4.5, 9, 13.5. Well, if I have a think as to what the gap is here, in each case I'm adding 14.5. And this would probably be on a calculator paper. So it's 14.5 more than 4.5 times table. 4.5 times 10 is 45. Add 14.5. 45. Add 14.5. Gives me 59.5. And 4.5 times 100 is 450. Plus 14.5. Gives me 464.5. Well done. If you need any additional help on that, give yourself a mark out of 8, please, for me. Any additional help, go to Hegarty196.